From the woman who brought you the unbelievable fidget spinner nails comes the next ridiculous trend. Exploding pimple nails. It's time to spend 10 minutes watching a video that you'll probably never recreate. Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This may be a little different than normal, but I'm still going to start by cleansing my nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol. And all the products are available in the description. And in case you eagle-eyed magpies have noticed, I have got this beautiful magpie glitter on called Faith. And this is linked down in the description. You may recognize it from my video last week. Next, I'm going to go in with base coat applied to all of the nails. I did apply a little too much at first here, so I'm just drawing the excess back off. Then I'm going in with this wonderful nude, which is API's Tiramisu for Two. I love this colour, it's a great match for my skin tone. I'm going to go in with one nice even layer, and it always helps to take your time on that first layer, because it stops you making mistakes which take ages to clean up, and makes the second layer a lot quicker. Then I'm going in with Magpie's Give Me Strength Gel. Now this is usually used to strengthen your nails, but I'm just applying a few blobs over the top of the nail, curing in my lamp for a minute, and then wiping off the sticky residue with isopropyl alcohol. And that's before going in with another layer of my OPI's Tiramisu for Two. We're trying to make this look like, well, sounds horrible, but spotty skin. And this is a case of art imitating life for me, to be honest. Now I'm going to go in with Roxy's Heart and Lola's The Showgirl from All That Jazz. And I'm going to snip off some latex-free sponge from a makeup sponge. And applying some Tiramisu for Two and Roxy's Heart. I'm going to blend them together on a pad before dabbing with a sponge. And we are literally just dabbing over the bumps, which are going to be spots. After putting an initial base layer, I'm going to go in with slightly more red and then finishing off in the centre with this lovely pus yellow, which is so pretty. I never saw it this way until I did these nails. Normally it's such a beautiful pastel for spring. We're going to finish off these nails with some matte top coat and this one is from OPI and yes, I have loaded it up. Once it's dry, carefully go around the nail and apply some cuticle oil and then apply some to the top of your spots too. Now for the ring finger, it's something a little different and I'm using one of my favourite hand creams from Burt Bees. And this is a beeswax and banana, so it's quite thick and as you can see, quite waxy. Taking an orange wood stick, I'm just going to scrape a bit up and leave it on the stick quite rigid and firm. Then on my ring finger, I'm applying it to the centre of the finger and just making sure it's sort of firmly on that nail. Take a brush and delicately and beautifully blend it in around the base of the hand cream. We want these nails to look perfect, even if they are hideous. Once you've got a really satisfying mound in the middle of your nail, just make sure it's all neatly sort of symmetrical. If you can, this is gonna make the next stage a bit easier. But to be honest, it doesn't have to be too perfect. Once you're happy with that, take a brush dipped in isopropyl alcohol and clean around the hand cream. We want to try and remove any residue of hand cream off the actual nail polish if we can. Going back in with Magpie's Give Me Strength, we are going to blob some off the brush. That's a technical term. We don't want any of the hand cream contaminating the brush because I won't be able to use it for nails. So you can see here all over the nail, I am keeping a barrier of the Give Me Strength between the hand cream and the actual brush. But we're going to actually spread this all over that hand cream. And then we're going to start gently drawing it over the nail. This is so much fun. You can see where we're going with this, can't you? Yeah, it's gonna be good. And once you've covered that hand cream, we're just going to go around and remove any excess if possible. And you can see we've got a bit extra down the side, so I'm drawing that off. Once it's been cured in your lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going in with a second layer before cleaning up and then curing again. Cleanse the nail with 99% isopropyl alcohol to remove any sticky layer before going back in with your OPI's Tiramisu for two and giving another coat. Look at that 
beautiful mound. All that lovely banana hand cream. And then just like we did with our other spots, I'm going to go over with a blend of the red and the tiramisu for two. I'm going quite dark red at the moment and what you have to do is go around like the base of the spot because that's normally where it's reddest, especially if you've been picking at it a little bit. And just to blend it in, if you need to go back over with some of the tiramisu for two, or if you want to make it redder, go back in with some more Roxy's Heart. And you can see how delicate I'm being here. In actual fact, that mound is actually pretty firm now. And then again, we're going to add some dimension with that beautiful pastel summery yellow, Lola the Showgirl. Right on the top, dab it around. If you can make it look a bit patchy, even better. Once you're happy, allow to dry. Clean up any areas of nail polish on the skin using a brush dipped in acetone or nail polish remover before going in with your top coat. And I have been very generous applying this top coat just because I want to make sure I smooth out any lumps of bumps. That sounds so ridiculous as I'm saying it, but you know what I mean. Once it's dry, go in with your cuticle oil around the skin because we should never neglect that skin around our nails. And just once you've done that, Add a tiny little bit just to the top of your spot, just to make it a bit, you know, shiny, stretched, ready for action. And there we go, our perfect, erupting, exploding, pimply, poppy nails. Aren't they so pretty? They are just perfect for Halloween. And then, of course, that's not where it ends, because that beautiful one on your ring finger that's ready for action. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze. Oh, but I think my nails are digging in a bit too much. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, look at that beautiful banana hand cream. Give it a good squeeze. And this is where the hand cream really comes into its own. Oh, look, there we go. How satisfying is that? You can actually smell the beautiful sweet banana as you're doing it. Who needs a handbag? You can carry your hand cream with you on your nails. And then when you need it, imagine the looks you'd get on public transport if you just squeezed out a bit of banana hand cream to use on your hands. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Go on, you're saying get in there, aren't you? You're watching it going, you're either absolutely cringing and heaving, or you're going, go get right in there. Right in there, you haven't got the end of it out yet. There's lots more to get. Look at it. At points I actually forgot that this was hand cream and started to feel a little bit repulsed. And I think that the way that the polish cracks, oh, there we go, yep, yep, lovely. It just makes it look a bit scabby. There we go, look at that, yay, how nice. Mmm. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a bit gross and it was a bit different to the usual, but I do love a challenge where I have to take nail products, do something totally different with them. It's actually really interesting and it makes my brain work a little bit harder. I will be back to my usual elegant nail art with a few twists thrown in here and there because, well, let's have fun. I need to say a huge thank you also to Philip Green. He was my X Factor style voice at the beginning. Please make sure you go and check out Phil. He was a semi-finalist in Britain's Got Talent and he has come so far since then and he's so funny seriously he really is like super funny and there's full links to his channel down below in the description let me know in the comment section down below how do you feel about dr pimple popper's videos are they something that you enjoy or like my best friend dry shampoo debbie are you completely and utterly repulsed i'm sort of on the fence on it. Some of them I don't mind watching and I find them therapeutic, some of them turn my stomach. Also, Christmas is round the corner, so let me know what sort of things would you love to see in my nail art videos for Christmas. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Ginger, in case you didn't notice, and please don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe, that will give you notifications of every time I upload. And I'm gonna be throwing in a few little extras very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to check out my other videos here and here, and don't forget to subscribe up here and down here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.